one nil that <laughs> is one number 23 years is another that's the last time scotland qualified for the world cup 1998 they're now within touching distance and you can't half tell that the fans are just a little bit excited uh, the sfa website crashed last night uh, for tickets for their next qualifying game but yes that one nil victory over austria in vienna puts them in charge of their own destiny in group f now and uh, let's take a look well, Northern Ireland play tonight, as do England and Wales. Now, England are in Warsaw as they look to secure their place in Qatar next winter. Well, it's not just about the football tonight. Uh, this woman is back in action, Emma Raducanu, in her quarterfinal at the US Open. Now, the and we have some exciting news for British F1 fans with George Russell partnering Lewis Hamilton at Mercedes next season. So Russell Now, we know the Manchester United fans are, are, are literally counting down the seconds to Saturday and their first potential sighting of Cristiano Ronaldo back in a red shirt. And yesterday we saw... ...and said, uh, you know... People must be really excited about Ronaldo coming back. And she said, uh, yeah, it's just good to have Ronnie back. <laughs> <laughs> Can I start calling him Ronnie now? Does that give me full permission? Mm. Ronnie's back, everyone. That's not quite the not to his face. Too. That's Maybe funny. not to his face. No. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Good morning, Scotland are victorious in the... Oh. Yes, good morning. Yes, steady yourself, Scotland fans. You are now within touching distance of the first World Cup final since 1998. It was that 1-0 victory over Austria in Vienna last night, which puts them in charge of their own destiny in Group F now. All those games kick off at 19.45, quarter to eight. Uh, but it's not all about the football tonight. Uh, this woman is back in action. Emma Raducanu in her quarterfinal at the US Open. The some exciting news for British F1 fans with George Russell partnering Lewis Hamilton and Mercedes next season. And that's a lovely photo of him there. There was an even better one during the rounds on social media last night of him queuing. I think it was back in 2009, queuing to get Lewis Hamilton's autograph. Oh, love that. When dreams come true. It makes you think, doesn't it, who you think, who you've, who you've queued up for to get their autograph and imagine yeah. working alongside them. Ooh, that happened to me with Louise. I, I was thinking that. <laughs> so did not. <laughs> It's I interesting, it. isn't it? We've got Adam Peaty here in a couple of minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, speaking of getting autographs. I yeah. Good, I was lingering about outside a little bit earlier on. Do you think that means we oh, get there to work he is, with him look. one day? Hi. He's coming. Hello. He's, in the, he's lurking in the shadows. We'll talk to him in a minute. <laughs> uh, talk to Adam about the Commonwealth.